of Joe Nemechek comes across. Our first green white checker of 2011. It'll be the fifth in the nationwide series here. As uh, you know, you, you want to flash back a little bit to Joe's wins, the two that he had here. There have been some great moments for him. We told, showed you. How about uh, this one back in April when he was running the Bell South car and that beautiful paint scheme and there he was from Lakeland, Florida, taking the trophy home. And boy, Mike Wallace's car looks like it's been in a heavyweight fight and he's got his nose broken. Right behind them, there's Brad Keselowski. He's got damage on his car. Doc? Well, with crew chief Todd Gordon and Todd in 2009 in a cup car and last year in a nationwide car, your driver, Brad K got it done on the final lap. Can he do it today? Have to see how it all works out here. You know, it's a uh, it's about Paris racing and uh, just see how it all sorts out. It's it's pretty wild when we get these things going. I think we got a shot. We'll just see where it goes. Amazing that a car with that much right front damage and Barabon holding the fender together has a chance to win it at Talladega. Guys, well, he is one of the three of the 16 Talladega winners that are in the field, Brad, Dale Jr., and Joe Nemechek. I have yeah. a feeling we're going to have some unlikely pairs when this thing gets to green. Yeah, but I, the pair that I see this lined up on the inside road, fifth Trevor Bain, seventh Carl Edwards. They're not going to have to do any manipulating, any moving around. They're hooked up, ready to go as these others try to get in line. So they'll be full speed ahead. That's what I say. You can't, you can't mess around. Just like Junior said, you can't mess around and try to get this thing to work. You only have two laps to get it done. Well, I hope you have not tuned out during any part of this today because we have had 53 lead changes, a new record, 18 different leaders, and here we go. Nemechek is going to be on the inside. Alongside in second is Mike Wallace, then Brad Keselowski, Elliott Sadler, Trevor Bain, Justin Allgaier, then Edwards, Hornish, Earnhardt, Almirola. That is your top 10. And the pace car pulls off. And look at this crowd. Not one person is seated right now. Green white checker, first one of 2011. Who's going to win at Talladega as they come through the tri oval, picking up speed? Green flag flies, and we're racing again at Talladega. Now, Mike Wallace and Joe Nemechek are not together. Got new partners. Keslowski right behind Nemechek. And it's Mike Wallace, I like this. I got the pole sitter pushing me. On board with Trevor Bain. Yeah, they're getting blocked. Oh, Whoa, got another spin. Contact. This time, the 30th, Busher. The thir oh, all three Turner cars. Sorensen in the 32. Leffler, who would have come out of here with the points lead. Now, he looks like he's going to be guy. able to keep going, but I don't think Busher's going too far. Running out of cars, guys. So our 10th caution, and we'll have our second attempt at a green white checker. We'll only do it three. Sorensen making his way around. Leffler looks like all he has is flat spotted tires. That, that'd be one of the big issues. If you've spun a couple of times, yeah. you, you got to be out of good now, years. Now, NASCAR also have to decide who was in what position when the caution came out right there, because as we saw, the front two pairs of cars were virtually side by side. Yeah, the field will be frozen when that caution flies, and that's the way they'll line up on the restart. Well, we do know that Mike Wallace will be the race leader as uh, Reed Sorensen has made it back to pit road. Let's go back and take another look. Just had too much momentum right there and just got yeah. into the back of Leffler. Yeah, Leffler tried to pull up and take advantage of that of a faster car coming to give him a push, and he got a little more of a push than he bargained for. Yeah, because you're getting that push from two cars, not yeah. one. You got two cars there. That's the chance you take yep. anytime you pull up to block. We haven't seen a lot of blocking with this type of drafting, but that's exactly what can happen. That's why we haven't seen a lot of it. Well, and there's a hard lick right there on the right front corner. Well, Sam Hornish did a nice job of avoiding that. He's had his share of problems already today, but he missed this one. Yeah, you see right there when Leffler tried to move up in front of his teammates, that was just a kind of a poor time decision. Well, we have, uh, as we've gone into a record tying 10th caution, I'm looking at my watch and we are past our scheduled time off.